Hey everyone, and welcome back for another episode of Renovating EA, the series in which I renovate EA's lots. And today we are working on Seaside Stories, which technically isn't in Brindleton Bay, but it was made for Brindleton Bay. It's a library that's actually in the library if you have cats and dogs. But so I decided that, you know, Sims need a library, so I, you know, did this one. But anyway, before we get too into the build, let me explain what happened last week with last week's uh, voiceover or lack thereof. To be honest, I don't really know what happened there. Um, I spent pretty much the whole day trying to record that video. I re-recorded it I don't know how many times and I there were I, I don't know I, it's like stage fright set in oddly enough um, you'd think that that would have been earlier on which it did but now six months later now stage fright sets in I don't get it but apparently but I it's like I became painfully aware that I was talking into a microphone which again six months later <laughs> but anyway so it just it did nothing I did worked out whenever I did try to edit out all of the ums and uhs from that video then it made things not line up and I would be talking about um I'd be talking about one thing but there was something else on the screen so it, it didn't work out so I, I got frustrated I gave up I let it beat me and um yeah that's what happened so for those that like the voiceovers or or you know sorry about everything you know sorry about that um, but the good thing is I've overcome whatever it was and now I'm doing this I mean of course if you're listening to this then I made it through yay um, but you know it is what it is I did my best um, but you know I'm not gonna let it get me down too much and I feel like I kind of redeemed myself on Friday's episode of 70 legacy so there's that but anyway about the build um, I, I took about it took about two hours to do this build um, and I didn't really struggle too much with it like I kind of everything came together so seamlessly which is a first for this series apparently um, but I kind of I wanted to keep it as close to the original just kind of tweak things and fix them a little bit um, specifically the second floor um, but I will say that the turret on the very top is not accessible through the build it's strictly decoration um, so there's not going to be anything with that but everything like I said everything came together I I think my biggest struggle was finding the exterior wall paint and overthinking the landscaping even though I ended up just making the landscaping the way that the rest of the other lots look in this neighborhood because I like cohesive a cohesive look for each neighborhood or each world um, which you might have figured that out by now um, I won't be sharing this one because I did use my custom content uh, wallpapers uh, the green um, I did use it and I don't like to share my builds that have CC in them because then you have to go on a custom content shopping spree or it's not gonna look the way that you know it looks in my game or whatever plus that kind of excludes console players and and I don't like to do that I like you know that, that that's what I you know I don't like to do that so anyway so there it, this won't be shared um, but maybe it gives you ideas but with this series that's kind of what the whole point of the series is, series is is maybe it gives you ideas of what you can do in your game with your lots because I don't intend on ever sharing the save or anything like that I mean in the future I may end up doing a pre-made save uh, but not anytime soon I think I've kind of got my plate full right now with the this channel and updating the current saves that I have um, 
But anyway, probably rambling on too much about that, but right now we're working on the um, main library area. The bookshelves and the, and the desks are from growing together. And I just, I really like those because they all snap together seamlessly, the desks, the, the bookshelves. And on the second floor, I just copied the desks up there. In hindsight, I probably should have put some more bookshelves up there, but I didn't think about it until now. So, you know, also you will, you will probably notice whenever I get to decorating the kids section that the landscaping or there's partial landscaping, basically just the fences and stuff. And well, I was bouncing around at this point, trying to decide what I wanted to do here and there. And, and you know, I'd get an idea and I'd go do it and then I'd go back to it. And so what I did with editing this video, I kind of tried to get all of the interior stuff in one, you know, together and then all of the exterior stuff together so it kind of flowed a little bit better plus it kind of helped me kind of learn a little bit more about editing videos so i hope you don't mind the the lack of continuity i guess is the word i'm looking for but i mean i hope it doesn't bother you but it was just it made more sense to me to do it that way um so i went you know i tried to get tried to make sure all of the interior was together all of the exterior was together now we're working on the exterior balconies and two i instead of doing four chess tables i end up taking two out on each balcony and putting in the uh telescopes because i remembered that we had those so i put them in there um and I, as far as the other balcony, I didn't really know what to put there because I already had chess tables. I already had uh, telescopes, so I just put some picnic tables in and all of that, which you've already seen. And now we're working on terrain painting and landscaping. And I cut a lot of it out because it's just a lot of repetition. So I just kind of um, gave you the idea of what I'm doing and then just moved on because I didn't see a point of you sitting and watching me place every single plant repetitious, you know, repeatedly. Don't even know where that and why I didn't think of that word. Um, repeatedly. So now I have, you know, so I just cut a lot of that out because it just, it made more sense to me to not subject you to all of the repetition because that's pretty much what all of the landscaping is is just repeating one thing here and there and everywhere but anyway in the back of this build i did put a playground area for the kids um and that's pretty much all that's back there but i put like the little pirate ship um thing for the children the the full-on um toddler thing the slide the the, that whole ball pit thing that came with the toddler pack and some swings and all of that so they'd have a little extra activities to do because there's really not a lot in a library for kids to do in this game so i decided to add or especially toddlers so i decided to add all of that um but anyway i think we are just about to wrap up um if you like this video give it a like if you want to see more subscribe and I'll talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.